Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to the new car show. We're in Belgrade in Serbia and uh, I wanted to show you this BMW iX. Uh, I know I filmed one in the Munich EAA uh, when it was launched, but I wanted to show you this gorgeous spec. Now, uh, this is also a sport package, so uh, let's come a little bit closer. Uh, I'm gonna check the spec later just to show you the details on this car. Uh, I love this metallic color. Now you can see the BMW laser lights, data running lights on the top, which turn into turn signals. You can see two lenses and a lens here for the fog lights. And you can see also the blue details inside for the BMW laser lights. Now, if I back up a little bit, uh, we still have the kidneys, although they're closed because it's a fully electric SUV, so no need for a big air intake. We do have air intake on the bottom, so those flaps open up and they let air inside when needed for cooling the batteries or the um, AC and similar stuff. Now, you can also see air intake through there on the sides. And you can see a lot of details. So just looking at this, look how they extended the kidneys uh, all the way down. We have the uh, front camera for 360 parking and the BMW badge, uh, of course, for the electric models, uh, blue surrounding. This is where your washer fluid is because uh, the front bonnet is not openable. So BMW decided not to do that. Uh, but I gotta say, I like this color combo and there's some black accents. Now, coming to the side here, you can see uh, big, massive alloys. These are 22 inch, so these are 275-40R22 uh, Bridgestone. And I'm not sure if these are specially made for EVs, uh, but there's a little sim symbol here, so there's uh, this are some sort of uh, for a less uh, rolling resistance and everything that's uh, suitable for electric car, maybe extra foam inside uh, for less roll noise. You can see super sharp design on the side mirrors. You can see the camera there. And you can see blind spot in the mirror itself plus a little warning. And coming a little to the top here. So just what I wanted to show you is the interior, just wait a little bit, but you can see a glimpse now, it's just exquisite. You can see the huge heads up display, you can see the two cameras on the top for the lane assist, uh, reading traffic signs and speed limits, light and rain sensor, uh, speaker on the top and a curved new display we're gonna check out once we get inside. We also have this like flush door handles, so there's a button Underneath, they also illuminate. Uh, there's tinted windows on the rear, and the car isn't tall, so it's on a step here. You can see that. So now um, there's limited space here, so I can show you from this angle. If I back up, you can see the whole car almost. Uh, BMW lights, they kind of look pinkish in person, not just on the camera, and you have the iX. Uh, you have the cat eyes on the bottom, some uh, lights for reverse lights, and this interesting diffuser, but you already saw that. Uh, on the rear, another camera for the rear, uh, integrated in the BMW badge. And if we press on the bottom, uh, we're gonna open it just for a moment. So this is the X-Drive 40. You can see that. And you can see over here, this is the uh, BMW iHome wall charger. You put your AC type to here so you can see when that is plugged. This is your AC and then combined on the bottom would be DC for fast charging. So this is for your home. Now uh, we're gonna open this up. I'm gonna back up, so give it some room. We are space limited. This is the best I can show you. Whole car, there we go. Now, what's interesting, you have these lights because the main lights are on the top of the fifth door. You can press here to close uh, this. 
top shelf, this is hard, you can remove this. And uh, you can see the body of the car or the frame or the skeleton is made of carbon fiber. So for less weight, more range. Then you have a top hard cover on the top. Of course, you can remove this. Uh, you can see it has like clip-ons. So if you put it on the place, you just press on it, it clips down. Uh, you have a nice flat bottom entry so it's easy to put suitcases and just roll them in you have tether points on all four sides over here you can knock down the right or left seat you have grocery hooks and you have a 12 outlet you have on both ends LED lights and on the left side you have a little strap there seats knock down either 60 40 or you can knock down the middle one so it'll be uh, 40 40 20 also you have those uh, tether points for the child seats and more tether points if you have some cargo underneath here we have extra room on the bottom so uh, I believe this is your patching kit you can see that actually this is to inflate the tires there is a patching kit uh, underneath in this styrofoam you get a little BMW uh, maybe manuals and book shape or stuff like that this will be a type 2 and so there's some room for cables and over here you can see there's a little extra room down there and this is holding it so you have this little strap to pull it and it has little clippers so it kind of locks in here again to love this now you could sit here and you're covered so if you're camping you can as you can see <laughs> there on the reflection uh, you can sit down here there's a little light on the top here and room for emergency triangle. I'm going to close this up and move out of the way. Uh, very close, nice closing sound, but there's a music in the background, so I'm not sure if you heard that. Uh, press from the inside. So these are frameless doors. You can see when I pop the handle, the mirror goes down and then you can open. Now on the rear, this is single glazed. Uh, I think on the front there was maybe a double glazed. These are tinted, of course, and uh, look at the seals. One seal, two seals going down, and the doors are not going all the way down, so there will be some water residue when you're washing a car, like over here a little bit. But look at this, what I've mentioned, carbon fiber frame of the whole car, you can see that. So this is rigid, but also a lightweight. Now the best part I really wanted to show you is the interior. You have some ambient lights here. You can of course change those colors. This is nicely softly padded. This is like blue Alcantara. This is plastic, a little bit blue over here also. Maybe this would be cooler if it was rubberized. Some uh, plastic emitting aluminum. And this is all softly padded. This is Harman Kardon speaker there. And I love this, this is just feels so premium, but it's a little bit hard plastic on the bottom. There's a little light here, and you can open the doors by pressing this button electronically, or there's a emergency opening over here in case a car gets into an accident and an electronics uh, switch off for safety. Uh, over here, you can see you could knock down the bench. It just automatically pushes out, and you can see the interior that is almost flat bottom going slightly up and you can see that on the rear you can see that the seat belt is not in the way so that is good now since this is electric you have a flat bottom there's no transmission tunnel there's some AC and footwell lights and look at this this is sort of following the interior color gray carpet and then you have this like really cool textile little two colors you have nice some nice stitching and alcantara it'd be cool if it was maybe perforated but they love the uh lounge theme of the interior and you have blue seat belts since this is the electric uh, theme and over here you have the isofix look at this this is all nicely softly padded so 
looks good. Let's jump inside. So, uh, what I don't like about electric cars is you're sitting in a squat position, but there's plenty of feet room and the front seat ends is in the lowest position. You have a little pocket here. This is covered with leather. This is kind of soft, actually hard plastic, excuse me. You can also see the cloth here. And you have two USBs for fast charging. You could put here a tablet holder. And interesting, headrest for the front seats. Let's hear the closing sound. So it's a good soundproof. Inside, again, you would press here. But I think someone locked the car, so yeah, <laughs> I'm locked. I'm gonna uh, ask them to unlock me a little bit later. You can see air vents over here. Now, this is very long here, so there's a light here. Of course, you can see that. I think it has colors, but there's plenty of feet room there if you need to um, squeeze a third person on the rear. This is semi soft, seen better. But the seats are nice and wide, so also, you know, people who are overweight, they don't like bolsters on the side. I know this is a taboo uh, topic, but uh, this is a lot than better because you have nice wide seats. But they're super comfortable, and again, I love the uh, Alcantara and this textile combo because it just looks like a launch. Now, if we pull this, you can see here this is flat. So this makes sense. This is where you... Uh, put your arm but then you press here and then you get uh, cup holders that are adaptable so that's cool and over here I guess you can uh, pull and then you can knock this down so you can also have the middle opening if you have skis or golf clubs or similar now on the top you have these uh, lights so there's physical buttons you press not those pesky touch buttons and you can see windows are nice and tall you even have one in the c pillar a fairly good overview maybe on the rear it's a little bit more narrow although from this end it looks good now over here you have uh, cool little hooks you can just rotate uh, airbag here and over here you have hooks on the b pillar now for a two meter tall person two meters tall i can straighten up my back i can straighten up my neck and I can relax, so there's plenty of headroom. I think there's actually extra two fingers of height, so this might be like 203, 204. So there's plenty of headroom. And uh, thumbs up for BMW engineers for doing that. Uh, although I would love to tilt the seat a little bit back so I can uh, relax more, but I guess uh, BMW maybe has something, uh, an option for that. I don't know from the top of my head. Now this is a look at the front, uh, it was a little controversial from the first, you know, uh, personal taste is always different, uh, it didn't really fit mine, but it started growing on me and I really, uh, I appreciate the BMW uh, minimal design they try to introduce here and uh, exquisite materials uh, on the front. Now I would like to unlock myself, but uh, Luckily, I have long hands, so just nope. So I have to press that one and ask the nice ladies to let me out. Okay, so we're out. So this is the front. So someone apparently locked the rear, but okay, we got out. Uh, you can see the lights there. I think there's a physical key cylinder here, so you can pop that out. You can see that. Uh, in case you uh, depleted full volt battery, so there's a physical cylinder in there. Front doors open wider, so let me just compare here both doors. So if you have a child, this opens fairly good, so if you need to put a child seat, it's very accessible. Now to the front, uh, same ambient lights. Uh, so this is single glaze. I, I was sure this was double glaze, but I might be mistaken. Or maybe it's an option. Germans like to uh, charge more for every option. So this is also softly padded. This is not, maybe this is hard. Harman Kardon speakers and again, plastic that's imitating aluminum. I wouldn't expect this from BMW, honestly, but maybe this is more lightweight. 
I don't know if plastic's lighter than aluminum, both are a light. Uh, you can lock or unlock from the inside. You can, again, open this electronically or emergency, but you can see that uh, this overrides the emergency opening uh, on the back. Now on the front, everything is softly padded with this Alcantara and then uh, cheap hard plastic here. But look at this, on the front, they've padded. They, they've added some padding and some leather here on the back. Let me check that again. So this is just, ah, no, excuse me, this is also padded. It is hard plastic in there, but okay, uh, they've covered this so it doesn't feel too cheap. Uh, you can of course open or close rear. Tire pressure information is here, pause and read. You have to have a higher tire pressure if you have more luggage or people inside the car for stability in case you need to avoid a moose or an animal or debris or a car accident on a highway on a higher speed, so safety first. And uh, front seat, again, combo, just looks very gorgeous. I love these. So this is a new buckle everyone's using, Mercedes-Benz, Tesla, even uh, like Renault. Uh, I love the contrast stitching. I wish I had this in my Tesla, to be honest, maybe in red. Um, but moving on, we have uh, paddles. Um, I think like in the AMP package, you get aluminum support paddles. Now, uh, yeah, something I wanted to mention. So I almost forgot that these diamond buttons are, this is your memory seats. Um, not sure if this is like massage option. And of course here you can control the, uh, the tilt of the seat on the top, uh, tilt for the knees seat up and down and then back and forward so i can show it to you because on the, on the, it's on the other end but also look at the headrest is integrated it looks nicely padded and you have this little area i'm not sure if you would be hitting this so it's kind of odd and then you have this two layer uh middle tunnel excuse me middle bridge so it looks a little funky uh this is your lights you just leave them automatic this is for the car show uh, fog lights and I guess your parking lights. Air vents are here. You can open them that way. The steering column is electronic and you can see on the top you can see a glass panda roof uh, that could also be shaded because it's like half electronic like an LCD display but in this case it was not specced and over here you can see uh, charging pads over there and two USB-C's and full outlet and adaptable cup holder so let's jump inside and let's close this up so good soundproof let me zoom out this is the wide lens so unfortunately in Croatia we have only one exclusive dealer who doesn't give cars for review so that's the reason why I never did a full review or point of view on this one you can only do it in car shows um, Kind of weird steering wheel, but I like it. It's flat bottom, flat, almost flat top. It's kind of round a bit. And then it has this, like also, like it's like a six square. But uh, it's cool, uh, minimalist, and I like the design. And then you're followed by these two connected screens. They're actually two separated screens connected in one basil. And this is kind of minimalist open design from BMW that we like, and I love those details. So zooming back in. Now, steering wheel has textured leather, feels nice. You have a nice small horn, blue. And over here have the uh, cruise on off, uh, speed limit um, and set the speed distance and so on. Voice commands, uh, phone calls, music. Uh, you can just play with a digital cockpit there. Just following the dash, look at this material. This is even better looking. And love the details. And this is like perforated Alcantara. And look at that, there's an air vent over there. <laughs> and, excuse me, uh, it's a heads up display. I didn't saw it, uh, I was looking at the top there. And this is, even this is softly padded. This is softly padded. This is not, the April is not, but the rest is. And then this is all softly padded. Uh, you have a beautiful design speaker there. And following the dash, it's very clean and minimalist. Uh, and of course you have these two screens. Now uh, there's a screen uh, protection here, but uh, the screen is glossy, uh, same. And you can see it's a very good 
graphics. This is a brand new car. You can see 88%, excuse me, 88 kilometers of range or 22%. And then we have this screen here, uh, climate. I think we can turn on the climate because it is super hot in this car. Uh, you can control the air vents uh, physically here. So that's nice. Uh, you can open or close them. Let me just uh, fan speed. I like to put this on maybe like low. You can see this is heating now. I don't want that. Um, for, uh, okay, turn off automatic program. So I hope the fan is not blowing into the mic. Now, uh, again, very nice. You have the hazards buttons here. Uh, you can see, you can barely see the turn signal on the driver mirrors. Uh, max blow, rear defrost. If you press this, uh, there's nothing illuminating. Here you have, uh, this is also softly padded. You have here like a little button. Over here, if you press that, uh, and then this opens up also very slowly and nicely. You have a flint, you have a rubber here. And it's a fairly good space here. I don't see AC. That would be cool if it had AC compartment. This is also softly padded. I think no one <laughs> pads that far. But since, since this is such an expensive car, it is fair that they do that. This is just plastic, but there is an extra room here. So if you need to stretch while driving and a cruise control and a longer journeys, this is rubberized again. Closer look, two USB C's. I really can't put my phone there without shaking the camera so you can see that there's a 12 volt outlet there also illuminates it's cool yeah, cute 12 volt engraved and adjustable cup holders in that one now uh, moving on the top here exquisite design looks really uh, not premium this is this is luxury definitely now you can here see there's you can put your phone here but then the cable can be routed down into those USB-C's so that's cool you can have your phone here we can check out take a glance uh, start stop this is like of course uh, it's a, uh, like a key but uh, very high quality end you have these uh, for reverse neutral drive you have the uh, parking brake and auto hold and then you have this wood piece uh, has the slides but it's clickable so it's like clicks here clicks there and you have actual feedback here's the volume here so i'm not gonna okay a little music uh it's a good music um the sound this is upgraded speakers sounds good but i don't want to get a copyright strike and over here you have the classical bmw uh you can see that uh, uh dial uh you have a shortcut for navigation so it has little cool animations there. And oh, it's starting navigation. There, okay. You have the phone, media, home, return, uh, parking cameras. Uh, this might be air suspension there. My modes and so on. Let me see my modes. So you have personal. Oh, this brings you in, then you have to tap on the screen. So this changes the whole theme of the of the or the efficiency so it kind of oh this one is kind of <laughs> the colors are the same as the interior but it changes also the menus so if we go to the home menu you can see here I have, have this like uh, pages sort of so you can go to the main menu and this is very responsive uh, uh, screen it's fast uh, look at this you can like swipe through this this is a little bit Android-ish alike, so Android fans are going to be uh, uh, feeling like at home. But uh, there's so many options here, I'm not going to go into these uh, detail Let me just raise the temperature a bit. Of course, you can always go to the climate control. Uh, you can um, close the air circulation. You can go to cell, you can synchronize that, okay. And over here, you can play with everything for the passengers and so on uh, heated seats uh, I don't think we have cooled seats but that's it and over here you have like a pull-down menu with some extra options I would like to do the detail video of this but uh, again I've explained why I can 
uh, over here have tire pressure information now BMW has also a lot of menus inside menus I'm not a huge fan of that I own a Tesla so I like like one screen and then a few options but where you can see mostly uh, most of the stuff on one screen I don't like menus inside menus definitely not safe, safe uh, while driving but in this case uh, don't forget you have this so it's quite easy to you know fastly uh, you can see how that fast is just navigate through all these menus and once you remember the menus you can easily uh, you know uh, memorize where is what uh, there are ambient lights they're now blue but um, it's just daylight so you can't see them I don't think there's point, no point of showing them and navigation isn't starting uh, or it's taking a while so I don't know uh, but uh, that's it um, and uh, on the top to wrap it up you have the uh, baseless mirror the view on the rear is actually okay uh, you have here for the I don't know emergency I don't know this honestly what this is um, it could be multiple things for a garage or uh, something similar and uh, on the top you can see there's like uh, this two blue lights so they're kind of ambient light shooting down here and you have these uh, touch lights so you can see that or you can turn them all on I guess and so on and over here you have the emergency uh, in case of uh, God forbid uh, car accident on the top you have a little speaker there and you have documents holder you have a uh, warm light actually it's kind of cold but on the warm side and you have a mirror here let's see if this extends so this is not completely covered and no it doesn't it does only a few cars uh, but this is also softly padded so and for a two meter tall person plenty of headspace now the headrest is kind of hard uh, it is padded but it's just hard so that's what it is but the seats are comfortable definitely and um, I almost forgot to show you this one so this opens up uh, you have a little cubby here that's kind of rubberized is this removable no actually this is connected but uh, you can put some stuff here on the top and there's a little light there a uh, flint inside and this is also padded but but less this is also padded but yeah so really impressed uh, i love the car it looks awesome uh there's one that can change colors at least like uh black gray or white uh, they actually put it like um ink uh e-ink or like from the was uh, e-readers uh, all over the car so you can like change colors but um and if you optioned up the panel roof you could like uh have it, it's actually a screen so you can tint it electronically it's like an lcd screen now since there's no front uh bonnet i'm gonna wrap it up here so leave your comments below how do you like the new i x and uh, let's check the spec for the end we have the ix40 sport package uh, this is 326 electric horsepower uh, top charging speed is 150 kilowatts i guess this is the vltp autonomy is 425 kilometers of range which is a little bit short to be honest because uh, in real life you can deduct at least 50 or 100 kilometers and then there's uh, this is the blue ridge mountain color loof stone gray interior it looks pretty cool uh, standard option and then additional option is the sport package aluminium 22 inch alloys a live cockpit professional uh, heated uh, front seats I guess BMW, BMW laser lights iconic sound and tinted rear windows Harman Kardon uh, driving assist uh, Android Auto and iOS so Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and Harman Kardon speakers contrasted uh, padding roof multifunctional front seats and clear and bold interior details BMW blue uh, seat belts so we have two uh, first years warranty and uh, unlimited kilometer warranty on the battery excuse me uh, two years or unlimited kilometers in first years of warranty 
and then you have battery has eight years or 160,000 kilometers entry price is 81,000 euros and extra options are almost 20,000 euros uh, it comes to 100,000 euros in Serbia have an incentive of 5,000 euros and this is the total price in that case so I'm gonna wrap it up here and guys tell me in the comments ladies as well how do you like the new iX and if you want to see more from Belgrade Auto Show click uh, to subscribe and click the little bell to get notified when I upload more videos thank you for watching as always stay safe I'm gonna see you in the next one bye